everyone! I am here today to share with you guys a video that I feel like I have planned and tried to execute for months now. Wish is not the quickest with shipping. But I finally got in a whole bunch of different kitchen gadgets that I found to be a little bit interesting, ones that I hadn't seen before and I wanted to play around with. A lot of them were really highly rated too, or whatever that means. So I thought I would test out a whole bunch of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday and every other Tuesday. And without further ado, Let's get into this. And the first one we're gonna test out is this little comb guy. And this thing is supposed to be used to hold like an onion or a tomato in place. And then you can cut it in more even strips and a little bit easier than trying to like muddle around with it, especially with an onion that has so many layers. So I figured I might as well try it and see if it gets in the way of the knife or is it actually useful. And they call it the One Piece Kitchen Favor Fruit Vegetable Onion Tomato Holder Slicer Cutting Slicing Cutter in case you're interested. So I have my knife here. I'm just gonna lob off the ends. So they seem to hold it like this and like right down the onion. Pierce it all the way through. And I'm gonna stand for the cutting because I, I don't cut when I'm sitting. It that just feels weird. So you won't be able to see my face. Oh, oh, hold on. Okay, so this isn't like the most easy thing to use. Basically, you have to know where each of these like little wire things are and slice in between. But I think I put this in too far because my knife, which is giant, like hits the, the plastic part. I'm probably terrifying all of you. Hang on, let's put this down and be a little bit more safe. Pull this out a little bit. Oh, that was too far. Yeah, just like that. Like it's not terrible, it's holding the onion in place, but like it's not the easiest to use either. Ta-da! Look at that. Freshly sliced onions. Next up, let's try out this weird thing. This is one of those spiral cutters, so you use a vegetable with it, and it's gonna create those strand, like those um, pasta-like strands, so you can make a vegetable pasta. So I have a zucchini here, lob off the top, and basically we're gonna like put it in and then turn it. I think. These don't look as good as they do on the website. Okay, we're getting into it a little bit more. It's getting a little bit more like noodly, I guess. <laughs> That's funny, it looks like a pencil. Dear diary. Like these are like pasta-like strands, which is good. This though is really gigantic. Like it, and I get it, you want to be able to fit different sized vegetables in it. But like for a carrot, that'd be so annoying because it's just, it's tough to wield. I wish it was like, silicone almost. It's not terrible, it is making the strands and it wasn't super difficult to use, but it wasn't like, wow, so glad I have this in my life now. Next up are these little silicone mats that stick onto any bowls or anything to preserve them. It's like a reusable saran wrap type thing. So I have a regular bowl here and we have just this mat thing. Let's see if it actually like sticks. Like not really. Okay, we have a glass and a little, they have like a mini one as well as a large and a medium sized. Medium sized feels pretty useless because it doesn't even cover like a cereal bowl. And the glass one like kind of mostly fits, like it fits over a normal sized glass, but like it doesn't really adhere to it at all. Like it, it would, it, it's no different than me putting like a piece of paper on top. But because it's silicone, it's not gonna like immediately slide off, but like it's not doing a great job either. Man, come on, Wish. Make something super useful. <laughs> Next up is this interesting looking device that's basically, they call it a pop chef food decorator cutter thing. And basically you put it together, you put this in and then you stick it into fruits and vegetables and it'll create like a little like star shape. So I thought like, I have kids they probably would think that's cool. So since I already have this cucumber out, I figured I could start with that one, but you could do it for basically anything. Like if it's gonna cut through a uh, zucchini, it's obviously gonna cut through like watermelon, for example. Maybe, I don't know, let's try some mango. Peeling the skin of the mango, which was another hack that I tested. So I think all you do is you take it, you put it down, and then you like cut into it. There. Like that. Oh, that's cute. I made like a little star. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can put like multiple ones in here because it looks like based on the picture, I can put a couple in here. So like if you were doing like a big piece of watermelon, you could just kind of like pop, 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 pop and get them all done, you know? Oh, that's okay. Okay, this is exciting. And then I think we just use the air to like pop it out, I think. No, that doesn't work. If I plug this. Oh yes, maybe if I, okay, hold on. Nope. Well, guess it's stuck in here forever. Okay, maybe if I do the, the mango next, it'll just like 
help to unstick it. I don't know. Nope. And now I don't know how to get this out because it's actually, it doesn't have like a little thing that I can like poke it. Mm, come on, come out. I was so hopeful with this one. I was excited. All right, it's coming out piecemeal. So that's a fail. I bet this would be really good with like watermelon. Like, let me try with just the, um, the mango cause it's much slipperier and not as like hearty, you know? It didn't even go in and it wasn't a full mango piece, but it did make a star. Okay, so I feel like this is really good for like light fruit, like watermelon. Basically it's, it's good for watermelon. That's pretty much it. Watermelon, cantaloupe, anything like that. But anything more hearty, like an apple or a zucchini, I feel like this would be a major fail for. Um, but it did cut it and that was pretty good. So path props. I'm gonna eat this mango now. Oh. Now this next one I'm super excited about because it forced me to make pancake batter and now I get to have pancakes for dinner. Cause I'm a grown up. Now I do what I want. And for this one, I'm gonna take some vlog footage. So let's go over here. And it is this little pancake mold. So it's gonna make little heart shaped pancakes. And I figured like that's fun for dinner, right? So I have to put some butter in the pan first, but basically you put it down like this so that the um, inner rim is on the bottom. And then you pour in the batter and then you flip it all together over and then get the other side. So we're gonna see how well it flips, how well it cooks, how well it creates a heart shape. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cute though. Now that the butter is melted, I'm gonna put this silicone thing in and I have the batter. We're just gonna scoop it on in. I assume I have to like mush it in place to create the shape though. And also need to work quickly. Ah! I feel like I may have filled this one in too much and that one in too little. Well, this will be interesting. All right, so it started to bubble and now I'm going to uh, flip it. Oh, I need to be faster. Oh man, I'm gonna do it again. As we expected, the one that I overfilled clearly was way too overfilled and this one is perfect. That's so cute. I'm gonna try another round. Okay, second batch I put in less batter and we're putting in blueberries this time. Round two was okay. It, it got a little bit crazy there and I didn't get it on camera, I'm so mad, but one of them like flew out of the pan and ended up way back here. Whoops. So you have to be careful when you're doing this. I think it's cute. I think it's cute as a concept. Is this something I would use every single time I made pancakes? No, but it's very Insta-worthy, I'll tell you that. So what did you guys like? Do you guys buy some of these kitchen gadgets? Let me know in the comments. I wanna know what you've bought, what you've loved. I think that if you used, like if you made vegetable pasta a lot, I think that this would come in handy. It was relatively inexpensive, though shipping is like, oh, it's a little dicey there. But I really enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun. I like playing around with all these different tools. So if you have any tool recommendations, leave them in the comment section below, ones that I should test out. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen in case you have missed any in the past. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every, just gonna move this knife out of the way. New videos every Saturday and that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome weekend and we'll see you guys all on my next video. Love you all. Mwah.